Hey there, welcome back to Reddit Dating, the best channel for Reddit cheating stories. Be sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification for more stories like these. Now, let's get into the video. I happened to walk in on my son having with my brother's wife. I, 44F, walked in on my son, 18M, having with my sister-in-law, 34F, brother's wife, in a cabin, and I believe they had been having for quite some time. My brother, 37M, moved in with us in February with his wife and two children, my husband, 44M, and I have a large house on a farm, my husband is a farmer, and we thought it would be a good opportunity to stay together as a family and for my nieces to spend time on the farm with everyone working from home. My three children reside with us, the eldest is 18M, and the other two are 16F and 13F. On the day my brother arrived, I went grocery shopping with my son, and he went to the pharmacist to get his workout supplements, while I bought groceries. When we arrived at the house, I noticed condoms in my son's plastic bag. There were two packs of 36 condoms each, for a total of 72 condoms, I didn't think much of it because he had gotten a GF and wanted to be safe. Everything seemed regular until last month when they left on their run, but I was up baking, and I never saw them do any rounds around the farm which was strange, I asked about it, and they stated they decided to hit the road, I thought nothing of this everything seemed normal. My SIL and son appeared to have a strong bond. Yesterday, I was returning from a friend's house early in the morning, the sun wasn't up yet, and it was a little dark, but I noticed that the cabin we have on the farm was open and the light was on, I thought maybe one of the employees had forgotten to lock up, so I went to close the door and turn off the light, and as I got closer, I heard people having, and I took a peek, and it was my son and SIL having. I I still haven't informed anyone what I witnessed, and I'm at a loss for. What to do? Should I confront them? Should I tell my brother? Should I tell my husband? I've been thinking a lot, and I'm sure they've been having for a long time. Judging by the condoms, my son was usually at the house and never brought a girlfriend. The morning runs around the farm, do they really go for a run, or do they have, and their close friendship? Update. I'd like to start by thanking everyone for all of the advice I received in response to my original post. I apologize for not responding to any comments, I believe I only responded to one, but my mind was all over the place. I'll do my best to keep this update brief. As many of the responses indicated, I chose to notify my husband first, and then go from there, my husband lost it, he first thought it was a joke. We discussed the situation and decided that we should first discuss it with our son before telling my brother. We confronted our son with what I observed, he already knew what was going on since he saw my Reddit post and put two and two together, he didn't dispute anything, instead, he confessed, telling us that he and his SIL had been having since February of last year, he was 17 at the time. My son claims it all started at his SIL's birthday party, where they got drunk and had in a restroom, and they've been meeting at hotels and sneaking off at family events ever since. My husband lost it after my son's confession and told him to leave the house and go to our apartment in town because he didn't want to see him in front of him at this time. My husband stormed into my brother's room after my son had left and told him everything. SIL was not in the house at that moment. My brother lost it and packed his belongings, took the kids, and left. When he inquired where my son had gone, he said he intended to teach him a lesson, which we did not tell him, and he eventually departed. SIL did not return, I believe my brother may have phoned her or my son may have warned her, and she is terrified to return, her things are still in the house. My daughters overheard everything and are horrified that their family may be wrecked. They miss their brother and are terrified that my husband would never let him back into the house again. My husband despises all forms of infidelity and has always instilled in our two eldest children that they must never cheat on anyone or be in a relationship with someone in a relationship. I know I did nothing wrong, but how will I ever look my brother in the eye again? He won't answer calls or texts, and my husband said I should give him time to heal. My kid has fled the condo because he is frightened of what my brother will do to him and he is currently hiding at a friend's house, which he will not name. There is no word on SIL. Info, my son's sister-in-law was the one who initiated the first time he and her slept together, she was the one who booked hotel rooms, bought my son dinners and lunches, and she even gave him an allowance. Story number 2. My 34 male, wife, 34 female, has discovered that she is having an emotional extramarital affair with her college crush. 
Thank you for taking the time to read this. 18 years ago, my wife had an emotional infatuation on a boy in college. However, he did not accept her proposal at the moment. But they've stayed in touch on and off throughout the years via social media. My wife told me everything I needed to know about him, and they were simply friends until lately. I discovered yesterday that they have been extremely intimate on social media for over a year. I saw all of her texts, and the guy had been asking for pictures of her in revealing clothing on a regular basis. My wife had emailed him images of her cleavage, if not anything more explicit. My wife is spiritual, and the guy has been portraying himself as spiritual, and I believe this is where my wife feels emotionally linked to him. I am in tune with you, she said at one point throughout the talk. Mentally, we are married. I adore you. I'm not sure how far they've progressed because they may have recently changed to Telegram, which is much more secure. I was enraged, but I calmed myself and approached the situation rationally. I have two children, and they must not be affected in any manner as a result of this. I acknowledge that I have been so preoccupied with work because I am upskilling and transferring to a better position. I also work the night shift and have two children. This resulted in me sleeping late at night in the other bedroom alone for nearly two years. She goes to bed early with the kids. Zach's life is naturally non-existent. While she has a great deal of respect and concern for me and is always available when I need her, I believe she drifted away due to a perceived lack of emotional support and a lack of Zex life. I tried being bad with her today and asked for Zex, and she was ready in a second. We had a terrific time, and she was really immersed in it. Despite the pain, I am determined to save the marriage. I haven't confronted her yet because of this. Should I do it now? Or should I just rekindle the Zex life, deepen the emotional connection, and hope guilt drives her away from him? I have to approach this very pragmatically because both of our families get along really well. Thank you for your time. Update. I approached her without first presenting the facts, and she stated that they do speak on and off, but nothing more. I then gradually exposed the talks, and she looked helpless as she explained that she tried to keep him from crossing boundaries while chatting and from chatting in a specific way. I put my foot down and told her that she had cheated regardless, and that she had the option of leaving or going and see with that guy. I summarized what I believed I read above, but the actual conversation was I am in tune with you. We don't have to talk like way all the time. We got married. She clarified that she meant we are both married, not we are psychologically wedded, and that she would never say such a thing. She claimed she knew the whole thing was going wrong and had finally put an end to it, limiting communications to casual friendly talk, and showed me sections of a newer conversation in which she expressed her appreciation for me and how happy she is with me. She then regretted that karma had still struck her, and I noticed older chats. She stated she only met him once when she traveled to her hometown with some friends, and she told me about it, she did let me know. She stated that she has never met him in private. She was always at her mother's house because she was pregnant with our second child. When I queried her about the photos, she said she had sent him normal ones and showed me parts of the chat where he was pressuring her to provide more exposing ones. She claimed she was dumb and delirious in the middle of the night to have sent him three suggestive photos. She admitted that she had made a mistake and attempted to divert the conversation with him to more banal matters. So I went through her phone and found no fresh conversations. I requested her to send the guy a final message saying not to contact him again and that I was aware of everything. She did as I stated and agreed that the guy's wife has a right to know everything. Just before bedtime, she sobbed and apologized, saying she didn't intend to upset me, and that she prefers and loves me over everyone else. She stated that while I am correct in seeking divorce, she wishes to save the marriage. I admitted that I couldn't think straight, that I was sad, and that what she did was wrong. She had to cry herself to sleep. She apologized again this morning, saying she was being silly and that she realized during the chats that the person wasn't the same college friend she knew and that he had changed and that she should have halted the conversation sooner. I stated that I want to trust her, but that I am unable to do so at this time. I require some time. 